When I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like a waving flag. When I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like a waving flag. And then it goes back, and then it goes back, and then it goes back. Oh. Welcome to our school, Lester B. Pearson, where 64% of the population is of South Asian descent and 93% of us have parents that were born outside of Canada. In a school so culturally diverse, it's very easy for students to gravitate towards people of their own background. Some might con consider it good, some might consider it bad. We are here to figure out why. Hi guys, my name is Braxted. And I'm Mathura. Uh, the last few weeks we've been exploring the topic of acceptance and um, reasons why students choose to navigate to people of their own color, culture, and ethnic background. So when we sat down to determine a topic, one of the topics that came up was acceptance and we saw that kids, or we noticed that kids of the same culture and religion tend to navigate toward each other and peer, peer circles are based on that. So we just wanted to see how much of that was actually true and what our student body as well as teachers and principal thought of that. And this video basically shows you everything that we found out and in our exploration basically. I don't think it's just Pearson, I think it's like every high school and even in the real world, people just tend to hang out with people of their own culture and race just because it's so much easier to relate, to talk about things. It's not just Pearson though. Okay. My peer group consists of only brown people, I don't know why, but we're there because we play chess, I can say that much. I don't, I don't know why it's brown people, but <laughs> nobody else plays chess. To me it won't really matter since... Well, I usually hang out with just about anyone, but yeah, I feel more comfortable with my specific type of people. Yeah, I think this is something that happens naturally. We're humans, mm -hmm. and we tend to be creatures of comfort. We all want to be accepted, uh, by and large, in, in the big picture, I'm going to say. But definitely, it's more comforting when you know that there's someone of the same faith, or cultural background, or ethnicity, or a religious background, or um, even sexuality. Hanging out with your own culture, like your own um, race or nationality, is more comfortable because you know a lot about where each one has come from, and you know a lot basically about each other. They may think that, oh, they may have uh, something more in common with the same race, so they'll have more to talk about or more in common and they may be able to understand where they come from, what their views might be. I just feel like more comfortable with them, like, you know, like, like I have more, more uh, ideas to share and stuff. And then they, they, they contribute to they won't think it's weird, they're, they're, they're like used to it. I used to be um, at a junior high too, and certainly in grade 7 and 8, you see that thing a lot, maybe even more so, I think. I think what happens in high school is some of those groups begin to change as people get different interests, um, they tend to join those groups of kids who share the same kinds of interests. I think that's just a healthy thing. Really. Um, I think it's segregating the school, and I don't know how positive that is actually, because if all the Hindu students stick together and all the Muslim students stick together, then how are we supposed to get like a, a better global picture about how the world really is? Because in the real world, you can't just stick with people in your own culture. Because I think as you get older and more mature, you tend to want a modest perspective of life. And, uh, and there's also the influence of parents, right, whereby um, if you're not exposed to that at home, it's just uh, so difficult to Because if you're um, in, in Canada and you just hang out with all people from your background, it does t tend to limit your education and your experience as a Canadian. And I think what we have to understand is Canada is a uh, very multifaceted, uh, multicultural country. In fact, we are one of the first countries in the world to have a, um, a legal policy celebrating our, our multicultural, multifaceted identity. Mm -hmm. As and in 2010, it makes you wonder, like, where is the progress? Yeah. So um, I think changes are happening. You tend to see interracial dating. Um, and if, if you want to focus mm -hmm. on race and culture um, and you tend to see um, interracial dating, interracial um, 
you know, friendships friendships and whatnot and that's a that's a really good step mm -hmm. and I think we have to understand that we're only at the end of the day not losing anything we're learning from each other okay. despite our immediate differences we all have dreams we all have hopes and we all have aspirations for becoming better people it's okay to be around those people that make you feel more comfortable as long as you try your best to reach out to those you might not know you may discover we have more in common than separates us. We are the children of the world.